everyone. Today we are going to make this super pretty bag charm. Um, it's a really nice tassel. It's a fun project to make. It's super easy. Um, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of colors on here that make me think of spring with the green and the pink. Um, it's just so pretty. So um, the supplies you're going to need for this are a little bit of yarn. Um, I will link in the description the yarn that I'm using. This is a bulky weight and um, it has a halo on it so it's really soft and pretty. And I also am using embroidery thread, any color you like. Um, and I have a bead, a charm, a three millimeter um, Actually, I'm sorry, it's a size three, two millimeter crochet hook with a tiny end to fit through a bead. You can also use a beading needle or a tapestry needle. Um, I have a pair of needle nose pliers and a pair of scissors and a candle optional. So this is what I have. Let's get started. And uh, I really hope you're going to love this one. supplies I use and keep on hand for making tassels and other little bits and bobs are a variety of uh, soft or different textured yarns and a tiny crochet hook. This one is um, a size 3, 2.2 millimeter. It has a very small end. It fits through beads and all sorts of tiny places. I also have a needle nose or other size pliers and a pair of scissors that, that's easy to use. And then I also have different beads and uh, jump rings, different ends, clips, anything that you can use um, when you're making small adornments like this and also um, various embroidery threads. So this is my container, well, one of them, and you can see in here I have a lot of different things, um, embroidery threads, a thimble, buttons, uh, tapestry needles are also great for stringing beads onto tassels, um, so I have different sizes of those, and um, sometimes I take apart jewelry that I really like and like if the chains are worn or whatever, and I keep these ends. Um, this was from an old keychain, so I'll put a tassel or something like, like a little amigurumi um, bag charm or something like that. So there's a lot of different things that you can use when you're making your tassels. Um, and I just keep them all in a container. And then when I'm ready to sit down and make, I have everything on hand. So, um, Grab your supplies, any kind of bead that you would like for your tassel, and uh, and let's get started. Right. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please um, don't forget to hit your notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to visit me. Today we are going to make a super adorable, uh, very soft and fluffy tassel. It's very easy. All you're going to need is a skein of bulky, actually this is bulky yarn, a number that is, let's see if you see it here, that's a number five weight, um, 681 yards or 623 meters of Lion Brand Jiffy. This is a vault yarn, so um, they brought this back out for a limited time. You certainly do not need this whole thing, but you can make a ton of fluffy, beautiful projects with it and today I'm going to make a tassel it's super easy um, and you need this and for today's project I'm also using a DMC embroidery floss and this color is number 778 so let's get started we'll just put that our floss off to the side and I'm going to get some of this yarn out. Now we're only using our hands in order to measure it. Um, so I'm just going to pull out a little bit of this yarn 
and I like them to be a little bit on the fatter side but because this yarn is so bulky to begin with you really don't need a lot I'm just gonna start by putting putting the yarn like so over your hands I kind of fan mine out a little bit and let's see how many times we're gonna wrap this before it's the way I like One. Let's do 12, 11, 12. Let's see how that might look when it's done. Okay, we're going to do two more. 13, 14. So I'm going to just cut my yarn right here. Now, put this off to the side. What we're going to do is we're going to put something here to secure it. Just gonna take a piece of this yarn. You wanna make sure you do this before you cut anything. So this is actually how we're going to hang the tassel. Just tie a knot, like an overhanded knot. I think that looks good. You only need one knot. We're going to just snip that right about there. And we'll turn this around. Is you're going to need a bead for this. So, let's see what looks good here. I think I'll use this bead. So you want something with a decent size hole. There's a lot of different ways that you can put this bead through the end. You can even use a tiny crochet hook. I think this one, yeah, that one will work. So for this, we're going to use a tiny crochet hook and just kind of, this is a 2.2 a .2 millimeter hook, by the way. So you just kind of have to play around with it and see what your bead end looks like. Um, so I'm just going to do this Make sure that it's over the end and pull that through. Okay. It's a little fiddly at the beginning, but it'll even out. Okay. So now we have the end of our tassel. Before I cut anything, we are going to secure this with our embroidery thread. So let's do that next. I know there's supposed to be a special way to do this so it doesn't tangle, but I generally just pull it out and I don't really bother with that. So I'm just gonna take a length of this and there's, there's no really set measurement for this. Um, it's just really what you would think, you know, how you want your tassel to lie this with a few knots first. And it's just this first knot. You gotta kind of keep it pulled tight. Okay. Snip your thread kind of as close to the bottom as you can. Put that off to the side. Now we, we wrap. See, it's already starting, already starting to look like something. I think this might be good, right? little sea, little uh, seashell and it matches it plays off the green that's in the top bead so we are going to use that it already has a little ring on it um, so I don't need to add a jump ring which that makes me happy because sometimes they can be kind of fiddly so I'm just gonna use this
Hang on. Whoops. Goodness. I just want to grab this right here and kind of. It's not going to work. Easier if I do this by hand. So I decided to use my pliers to open these up instead because it was falling off the tassel. So you're just going to kind of put them inside and pull it apart like that. And I'm using the project yarn to attach the charm instead of the thread because it just didn't hold the other way. So we're going to pop it on this way. And then you'll see what I'm doing. Oh, shoot. Closing that up. And then I'm going to tie it on. Bring it over to this side. I think, what do you think? I think that's looking pretty great. So, make this a little bit shorter. You're going to kind of loop it over pull the end through and snug it and do that again loop it over if you can see what I'm doing here pull the end through and snug it up again and one more time Snug that up. Oops. See, that last time didn't work for me. I think we'll stick with two. See, there's one little extra end here. I'm going to tie a knot. Tie it tight. And snip the end off. Okay, now we're ready. Let's pull this up. There. Now we're going to cut the end of our tassel. So, these are so much fun to make. I love... Um, for me, it's very tactile, and I love the fuzziness of these. And you can just kind of play around with the edges. This particular yarn is really great because you can separate the ends and fluff it out a little bit. See? It's already starting to look like something. Isn't that pretty? Now we're going to find a bead to hang off the end. I decided to just go ahead and use the project yarn because it was really, um, <laughs> this was not cooperating with me at all. And it kept falling off with the embroidery thread. So I'm just going to tie this off here. And I don't know, tassels are a really cute project. And what I really like about these is that you can, you can kind of make them into anything that you want and it's still okay. So I'm gonna leave that tie attached and then I'm just going to snip this one. And there it is. Isn't it adorable? Um, I really, really 
I love how this turned out. Um, yeah, you can see the shell. I just think it's so pretty. It's going to be great. Um, I think I'm going to attach it to one of my planners, actually. And when I share my video, what's in my planner bag, uh, you'll probably see this tassel again, and I'll let you know what I did with it. Um, if you want to send pictures, if you decide to use this, if you decide to use my tutorial, I would love to see the pictures of your tassels. Um, my email is in the description box below, and I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications on so you don't miss the next one. And uh, I will see you all soon. Bye.